This is the WOODS News. I'm Hollywood. Breaking news this morning, we have reports coming in from southeast South Dakota that a colony of bees is all abuzz after it was discovered that their honey had been stolen overnight. Thomas Broke Paw is on the scene. Thomas, what have you discovered this morning? Thanks, Holly. There is plenty of rumor flying around this morning. The Southeastern Woods Police Department has been called in, and they have been interviewing Queen Bee to see if they can determine a suspect and motive. At this stage, all that Captain Donut can confirm is that they would like to speak with Rocky Raccoon to confirm his whereabouts last night. Have you been able to speak to any of the residents of the woods this morning? Yes, as a matter of fact, a number of eyewitnesses have come forward this morning. I have Sybil the Swan with me right now. Sybil, you were out on the lake last night. What can you tell us? Well, I don't like to gossip, but I did see Rocky. It was just after dusk when he came past the lake. I can't be certain, but I think he stopped to eat something by the shore. An interesting piece of information. Thanks, Sybil. Sam and Sandy Skunk are longtime residents of this part of the country. They have 12 children and last night had a run-in with Rocky Raccoon. Sam, what can you tell us about last night? It must have been a little after dark when we first suspected something was wrong. Wrong? I was so worried for the kids. That raccoon is such a troublemaker. Now, now, Sandy, it's okay. Well, really, if he just minded what he was doing... Rocky is just a little bit absent-minded. Anyway, he fell into our home last night. I'm not sure what he was up to, but we had a few words, and he was quickly on his way. I didn't even have to spray him. Hmm, sounds as though Mr. Raccoon was causing some trouble last night. Luckily, I've managed to track down another resident who met Raccoon last night. Sierra Squirrel is here. What can you tell us? Well, I was dancing on my tree limb when I spied Rocky coming through the woods. I don't know why he has it in for us squirrels, but he started making a fuss and calling out to us. Luckily, my boyfriend, Samson, came out to see what the problem was. He put Rocky in his place, that's for sure. But what about the honey? Honey? The only honey I know anything about is my Samson. <laughs> Strange. Everyone knows Rocky and saw him last night, but no one has any information about the honey. Have you managed to talk to anyone else, Thomas? Yes, as a matter of fact, I have. Uh, Felicity Fox is here with me now. So, Miss Fox, did you happen to see Rocky Raccoon last night, and did you notice anything suspicious? Suspicious? Yeah, for sure I did. Did you know that a UFO came to the woods last night? A UFO? Um, I haven't heard any reports of such activity. Uh, what about the raccoon? Did you see him? I didn't see any raccoons last night, but I did meet an alien from outer space. Well, I suppose technically, I saw one and ran away really quickly. He chased me. I think he wanted to snatch me and take me away in his spaceship. Thank you, Miss Fox. I did. I really did meet an alien. <laughs> right, I'm sure you did. Uh, anyway, I have one of the most senior members of the Woodland community with me now. Boris the Bear has seen it all. Boris, what can you tell me about the mysterious case of the missing honey? Well, if anything strange happened here last night, I would have known about it. You can bet you. So you didn't see any thieves out and about? No, I did not. What about aliens or UFOs? Aliens? Are you crazy? I don't think I saw anything like that. Besides, I wouldn't know an alien if it chased me up a tree. Something happened here last night, but there seems to be some confusion as to what exactly. Rocky Raccoon is wanted by the police for questioning. The honey is gone. Aliens may or may not have visited, but no one knows who stole the honey. Back to you, Holly. Thanks, Thomas. Maybe the Midnight Thief was taken by the aliens.